Well, we're headed to um, Etheridge, Tennessee, where apparently it's a fairly large Amish community. And you can buy a lot of vegetables and what's ever actually in season. They even have auctions like three times a week. Now, I doubt if I'm going to get any video of Amish. I might from the vehicle if they're actually using horse and buggy down the road. But um, they don't like their photos or video taken. So we won't be getting much video of them. But um, I will try and get video of the area and uh, what's basically happening. From what I'm able to tell, apparently the you drive down the country roads and the Amish have white signs out front on what they're selling. You pull in, you meet them and decide if you want to buy it or not. There's no internet you, sh you can go to and buy from. Everything is done personally. So this should be an interesting trip. We're looking at picking up uh, green tomatoes so we can pickle them. And some red tomatoes. Hopefully they got some left. Where you can have uh, bacon and tomato sandwiches. And uh, we'll see what else they got. So as I get closer to Etheridge, Tennessee where the Amish are. I'll show you guys around and uh, show you what's going on. It's only about an hour's drive from me so it's pretty close. So when I get there kick on the video and show you some more okay my first stop was there was a place called the tourist place they give you a free map so we stopped there I got the map very friendly and uh, they told you, you just pretty much drive around these dirt roads back here in Etheridge Tennessee and then you look for a white sign I do see a lot of buggies apparently they're all heading to an auction I may check that out they do have signs up no photo everywhere so they don't want you doing that and uh, we picked up some salsa sauce for five dollars you guys look cute we picked up a couple gourds they were five bucks each they were a weird looking gourd and uh, now we're I didn't see any tomatoes did you yeah they were weird colored really I think they were the blood tomatoes oh really so what you do is you're looking for a sign can they see that furniture shop sign you're looking for a sign that says so you look for those white signs and then you pull in and she wasn't very friendly she was a young girl um, she did have a little bit of an accent English wasn't that great so but maybe it was just that particular farm we're gonna go to a couple more and uh, we're gonna see how that goes in Etheridge Tennessee so here's what we got at this one Now the last one did have a king size quilt, but they wanted, I think it was $530, and then he said he'd take it down to $500 if I wanted to give me the eggs for free. I bought a dozen and a half of eggs for, for $3. Okay, we stopped in this place, and we bought some fresh butter. I guess that was made with goat's milk? No, it's just butter. Oh, well, okay. It was just butter, fresh butter. It was $450 for a margin container. Got, um, White picked up some hand lotion, two of them. They were three bucks a bottle. That was made with goat's milk. She just tried some of that. Very friendly. They were very friendly here. They told us about the auction that apparently is someplace around here that I can go to. I have to register before I can get into the bidding. They told me that the tomatoes are really expensive right now. They really like to talk about produce, that's for sure. Okay, we went to the Omnish auction. I spent like $250 on food. And uh, he looks a little nervous. But I'll show you guys this. You know. Isn't that cool? This is at Walmart. I'm in a Walmart parking lot, guys. And uh, they got a big thing of water there that Walmart's put in for them. And they can get themselves a drink. So that's pretty impressive. But um, I spent about $250 on food. I mean, oh my god, I got everything. I got green peppers, red peppers. Um, I couldn't believe everything I bought. Now, one thing's for sure is I went to one Omnish farm and I asked them, Do you have any green peppers? And she says, Oh, yeah, I have some. I'll give them to you for $7 a pail. I said, Okay. She says, you want some red ones too? 
I said, oh geez, give me a pail of red and a pail of green. She says, okay, I'll be right back. She went off into the field and come back till like 10 minutes later. Both pails filled with the brim, dumped them in boxes. I paid her and I got green peppers and red peppers. You go to the grocery store, they charge you more. So that was pretty impressive. Let me show you some of the food I got. Okay, as you can see here, these are sweet potatoes I got. I got some green beans. Um, I got onions, I got sweet peppers, I got green tomatoes, I got red tomatoes. I got um, some of those sweet melons there. Some more potatoes in there. I even got some more inside the truck. Now, how this auction worked, you had to pay attention, but um, most of the time they would have you would have to buy four boxes so the auction would start off you know six dollars seven dollars eight dollars and the guy would go up and then whatever it was say twelve bucks you were actually buying four boxes for twelve dollars so you'll see on here for example this one says two times ninety two my number was ninety two so I ended up buying two boxes of green beans and they're like a half bushel and I think I paid like eleven dollars for each one sweet potatoes are all cleaned up really nice you know, I've got red tomatoes, so we're going to have some bacon lettuce tomato sandwiches. Um, green tomatoes we're going to pickle. There's my other package of green beans there. Onions I'll bring down in the bunker. Uh, sweet potatoes I'll bring down in the bunker. And tomatoes will freeze for soups. Not sure we'll be canning those. I only got a couple boxes. So. so this is Amish country in Etheridge, Tennessee. If you want to check it out and get some food fresh out of the garden, not grown by a greenhouse and eat healthy, this is definitely a place to go. I'll be coming back for a lot more. So this turned out pretty good. Okay, here's a, a better look at what I got. You can go ahead and pause the video, have a good look. Sweet potatoes, red peppers, green peppers, sweet peppers are the yellow ones, four boxes. Uh, green beans, two gourds in the back there. I kind of bought those for Halloween, they were ugly. I don't eat that, but they were ugly, ugly. I think I set those on the porch. Two boxes of beans, green tomatoes, sweet potatoes, onions of a couple different varieties. There's my tomato bacon sandwiches. We'll be freezing some of that and canning some of those tomatoes. Be canning those green ones for sure. I brought the cooler. What are those called? Oh. About a whole box of cantaloupe. I don't know if we're going to be able to eat all that. We even threw some more sweet potatoes in there. I brought that in case I needed it. So what you're looking at here is $250 worth of food bought at the auction. $250 worth of food bought at Etheridge, Tennessee, at an auction. And uh, auction was a lot of fun. Now, the tomatoes themselves, I bought those from a private Omnish farmer. I got those for like seven bucks a box. Um, the green peppers and the red peppers, same farmer. And I asked her if she had any. She said, yeah, if you let me go pick some. So she ran out in the garden and she picked a couple pails. One pail of green, one pail of red. Charged me about seven bucks a pail. I was pretty impressed. So the rest, I think I got it at the auction. That's what I did. Either way, whether you go to the auction or whether you drive to the actual farms, and uh, pick up the food the whole thing's a whole lot of fun and they have to understand this is all grown in a garden this ain't grown in a greenhouse it's not labeled with all kinds of chemicals there's no different than you growing them in a garden except you didn't do the work so there's a good luck i'll probably use that for my thumbnail so so there you go. If you've got an Amish community near you, 
you might want to see if they got auctions or you might see if they got the little white signs along the road and you might want to go out and meet them you're not going to be able to buy this off the internet you have to get off your ass and actually go there and meet them and uh, see what they got for sale it's always different and then get to know who you want to purchase stuff from and who you don't all right i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm definitely going back catch you guys later